So you're already using NX and you're enjoying its experience, but maybe you want to go a bit further. Maybe you want to try out the really latest master and build your own local version of it and try it out before it gets released. Or maybe you have a pull request open and would like to try that out before you actually submit it back into the repository. So let's see how we can do that. So the first step is definitely go to the NX repository on GitHub and let's get the code by cloning it into our local environment. Once we have the source code locally, let's open it up in our editor. So here you see the NX source code, the various packages it has and more of the other things. Now what we are particularly interested in, we want to create a local build that we can use and play around with before it actually gets pushed to the NPM repository. And so after cloning NX, the first thing that we have to do is to install the local node modules. Now NX uses yarn, so we can just do yarn enter and get the installation process going. Next, we want to create a local release. Now in order to be able to actually build and publish it somewhere, we need to have a local NPM registry running. Now luckily that's pretty easy with the NX repository because we set up a couple of tools that allow you to do that mostly automatically. So first of all, let's run that local registry. So we can do just yarn local registry enable, and that will make sure that all of your NPM and yarn installations point to that local registry which we are running, and which is running at localhost 4873. Once that is set up, let's actually start it. So we can again do yarn local registry and start which now boots up a Verdacho instance at the specified port. So if you click this, we can actually browse the local Verdacho repository server and obviously we don't have any packages installed there yet. So the next thing we need to do is to make sure we release a new version. In order to do so, we need to know which version we need to publish as it has to obviously be higher than any other version that's currently on NPM. Now we can do that by simply going to the package JSON and inspecting the current version that is here. If you really want to be sure, you can go to the NPM registry and search for our workspace and then go to the versions and watch out for which versions are currently there. So we can see there is already a version 07 beta 5 at the moment of this recording. So let's have a higher version. Let's point for 10.08. So in order to release a new version, let's create a new terminal here and use yarn nx release. We give it a version which will be 10.0.8 and let's say beta.100 just to make sure we have a high enough number. And let's also add the dash dash local flag, which will make sure to publish to the local NPM repository. Finally, confirm that we want to publish to the local NPM registry, which we just launched before. And so now all of the compiled packages get pushed to that local registry. All right, and now if we switch back to our local running server and refresh, we actually see all the packages are there and we also see that the new version which we specified has been published properly. We can now go to our terminal and create a new NX repository using that new version. Now the easiest way to do that is by simply using npx create NX workspace at and then specify the version which we just published, which is 10.0.8 dash beta.100 and give it a new name and a new test. This will now pull all the packages from our local repository because the version 10.0.8 beta100 doesn't exist on npm and so the local version is being used. Once the workspace has been generated we can open it up again in our IDE and if you go for instance to package JSON you can see that we got the latest version installed. You can now go ahead and test out the latest features before they have even been released, give us feedback or even just try out one of the PRs you have seen up there and provide some feedback to the PR author.